Anyway, what I need you to do right now is I need you to go to Google and I need you to type in bagger293. If you're at home, also do the same on your computer, your iPhone, your your Android, whatever device you have that connects to the internet. I promise it won't be a virus. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Now I have your bank account. <laughs> no. Bagger293. Is this like a Walmart uh, person cashier? <laughs> Bagger293 is a hero of our story today. <laughs> uh, he's been a greeter at Walmart for 80 years. Um, he's he's real the, American hero. <laughs> he's the first Android greeter at Walmart against his wishes. Anyway, no, sorry. That was a huge divergence. We are getting into party knowledge. Party knowledge is a segment where we're going to drop some facts on you, and we are going to talk about something that you will be able to bring up in a conversation, at a party, right before you get really tipsy, uh, you know, because these are going to be harder. Or than, after you get or really after drunk. You get really, uh, <laughs> this one would be a sweet one. Bro, there's this giant, giant saw. It's like 300 feet tall. It's like 738.2 feet long. And it is the world's heaviest vehicle. Weighing in, weighing in at 14,200 tons. That's a lot of tons. That's that's, ton that's of tons. That's a ton of tons. Um, I, I feel bad for DJ Satan, so I got a little loud on that one. <laughs> but anyway, those were all real numbers, guys. The Bagger 293 is the world's lar- is the heaviest land vehicle to exist. It is a giant mining vehicle. It's a commuter. It's a <laughs> Yeah, if you want to take three weeks to get to work, <laughs> literally, that's how long it took the Bagger 293 to get the 80 miles from where it was built to its job site, which is a giant coal mine in eastern Germany. It took three weeks traveling at one kilometer per hour, which we know with conversion is definitely less than seven miles per hour. Yes. It got there in a total of three weeks. That's how slow this thing goes. It's a slow mover. But they should have built the factory closer. They should have built the factory <laughs> on on the machine. Yeah. And then the machine could have taken its essentially its birth canal with it. Um, <laughs> but anyway. The factory becomes the machine. <laughs> it's a transforming thing. It's like, is wow. That, that's really, that yeah, wow. That's crazy. That'd be funny if it was a building and then it slowly got taken apart and in its place is like left it's just, this yeah, giant it machine. It's like a no, lotus, no. if you will. Metamorphosis. <laughs> Anyway, it was built in 1995, uh, and it superseded the Bagger 288, I believe. They just jumped five. They're like, <laughs> this like, one's so big. One's We're so just going weird. 93 on it. Crank it up, man, to 11. <laughs> no, five, just five, just five. All right, fine, crank it up five. <laughs> fine. Jeez, mom. Cranking it to five, yeah. <laughs> Cranking it to five, y'all. This thing is a monster. <laughs> this thing is a beast. And if you've looked it up at this point, which I hope you have at home, I know Luke's looking at it. DJ, are you looking at it? Say it ain't so. Big time. No, you're not supposed to say it. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Anyway, this thing essentially is a giant saw on an arm that just is pr- protruding out into space. Uh, and essentially what this thing does is just clear... It clears like um, forests. It's like no, no. It's a mining. <laughs> oh, mining. Oh, so it can move eight point <laughs> five million cubic feet per day. That's like a football field size hole, eighty feet deep. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Don't, eat. <laughs> Don't can't eat have it. <laughs> um, there's five other of these giant excavators in the world, and the same companies built all of them. And How long did it take for those ones to get to their <laughs> destination? It's like we only, we only, you only can have them in Germany. Why? Because they can't get out of Germany. Yeah. <laughs> the one is still driving over to like Moscow. It's just like it's taken ten years to get there, uh, but it'll get there. And when it does, man, oh, oh, we're gonna move a lot of dirt, a lot of doit all over the place. Um, what do you think the price tag on this puppy is? I mean, we're looking at 14.2 thousand tons times uh, the speed and the revelation of, uh, yeah, this is a lot of money. We're, um, <laughs> I'd say 1.4 billion. <laughs> wow. Is that too much? That's a lot. That is a lot. Okay. A billion dollar vehicle? That's I mean, that's great. I mean, it's a good this guess. Is, this is moving. <laughs> this is moving football fields. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Luke's like, I've never built anything in my yes. life. How am I supposed to guess how much this would cost? 
Three hundred and forty six million. Oh, okay. Closer, closer. We're reverse okay. we're in reverse. Two point seven right. billion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Going the other way. Uh <laughs> DJ was way closer. Oh. hundred million dollars. Oh, okay. USD. Oh, we could do that. We could we could we oh, could, we're gonna start yeah. a crowdfund uh, <laughs> raiser uh, Indiegogo campaign. We're we might going have for to the do bagger two ninety four coming <laughs> at you. <ya. laughs> They're like, yeah, uh, how much did you raise? We're like, two grand. <laughs> what can you get us for two grand? They're like, we could give you a bagger zero 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 point one. <laughs> the, the steering What's that? wheel. How much? How much? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or they just like send you little like die cast vehicles. Yeah, yeah. How much can it move? Eh, like three. Three what? Gram. Frosted flakes. <laughs> three grams of rice a day. <laughs> Hey, that would get to the job site quicker than Bagger 293, though. Yeah, because you could throw it. <laughs> you put it in your Gauss gun and shoot yeah. it across. <laughs> episode check out, 51. I got last episode. Uh, <laughs> so, I bring this up for your next party. You can talk about it. You can also you can open by saying, have you guys ever seen the Ghost Rider movies? To which everyone will reply with, of course. Oh, that's going for a dead silence. No. But... <laughs> Uh, it was in the second Ghost Rider film, uh, where Nick Cage as as Johnny Blaze takes over. Uh, he takes over one of these giant bagger uh, two hundred something, and it's cool because it starts on fire and starts whipping around and That's getting stuff. Bad. So that was cool. That was cool. Was it Bagger six six six? Hell yeah! That, if they didn't, they should have made it that Bagger six 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 nine. Six. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and uh so yeah, that's it. So just gonna run through these facts again and uh we will uh, you know I'll open it up to the floor really quick. But world's heaviest land vehicle, fourteen thousand two hundred tons. That's your trivia question. That will be the guesser, and that will be the fact that you can drop on them. The height, three hundred and fourteen point nine feet. That's wow. man, that's a that's man, you fall off that thing. Uh, length 200, oh, 738.2 feet. All right. So 314.9 by 738.2. It, and one last thing, this is probably the more interesting thing. It takes five people to drive this. I just picture like five guys just like pulling a bunch of levers. <laughs> just like, no. just like, just nine, nine. <laughs> <laughs> and then outside the vehicle is just like, <laughs> nail space. <laughs> We're going to crash. <laughs> nothing happens. Uh, what are you steering? What are you yeah. steering? It's like yeah. you have you have weeks to make a decision. Ah, tree. <laughs> <laughs> the tree about uh, six miles in front of us. I think. And the captain, <laughs> the captain of the bagger, is just like. Denanzitsa. <laughs> like destroys. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, just a cult that runs the whole saw. <laughs> it's like the saw, the bagger two nine three king, and he sits on the throne. It's like all charcoal and steamy. You, we push forward to Russia, yeah. <laughs> it's like we're, it's gonna take we a couple years. Value. Do you have to get certified in this, or is this just like? Hey, uh, Hans, get in here. We need another. <laughs> I think they take an assessment, but it's it's a patience assessment. Yeah, if, if I was riding in that thing, I'd be like, all right, I'm done. I'm going home. Forget this. But we're paying you $100,000 a year to run this. Yeah, I don't care. It's taking forever. The maneuverability test would take weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to uh, hop on. Oh, shit. You ran over a cone. Start over. <laughs> Is 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 that something where you can like hop on bagger like nineteen and it's smaller, <laughs> so you can do that one still do the maneuverability, but then you still get certified for bagger two ninety three. You're like popping wheelies <laughs> at the bagger. You're like back in my day, man. We were running baggers all over this town. <laughs> what model were you in, old man? Watch model hundred, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> we drive the big boys. Get with the big boys. Where do they park this thing? <laughs> wherever, wherever you wherever. damn well please. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's stopping it. <laughs> if it does try to, it's getting a saw to the Literally, face. Literally, when they drove it, it just <laughs> yeah, saw it. they just ran like they just drove over a highway. And, like it was backed up for like seven days. <laughs> like, just, <laughs> crushed the highway. <laughs> yeah. We crushed the autobahn. Yeah, <laughs> we drive here now. <laughs> exactly how that went down. Uh, so yeah, guys, <laughs> Bagger two nine three. Google that shit. 